Hi, this is a really quick tutorial reiterating the uh, previous video I did on metal effects. One of my viewers, Game Master, just asked me to explain it in a bit more simple terms, uh, metal effects. So here it is. This is as, as simple as I can make it. Okay, so pick your light source uh, to one side so you can then edge line your metal here, I've done a metal sphere, so you imagine this is a silver ball and here you can see is that edge like that white line, that's your edge lighting directly relating to your light source over there okay and to, to really distinguish that edge lighting, I've done a, done a thick black line exaggerating that white area and then here it's like a starburst or a glitter in the neck. That is in effect a reflect a small reflection of that light source. Imagine the light source is further away than in the actual picture. Imagine if you got a silver ball and you held it up outside, there'd be a sparkle on it where the sun was reflecting. That's that sparkle. Okay. Then you've got the colour here. I've chosen blue instead of like a grey, it's traditional for a for a metal, but you can choose any colour, so if it was Iron Man you'd have yellow and red, but whatever. And then it's, I've, it's, I've created a graduation from black to these hatch lines, to the blue, to the white. It's, the, it's just that and there's a little bit of shadow, it's that simple. And you can do it with anything, not just silver balls. So once again, here is here's my light source. And then I've edge lit the Winter Soldier's arms. And so you can see here, here's that edge light, is that white line. And then to, to really distinguish it, you've got a black line that highlights the, the, the white line, as you will. And it creates the blue and the white again. Okay. I hope this clears things up for you, Games Master. And I hope other viewers have found this useful. Cheers. And I hope this inspires you to go out and draw comic books. Bye guys.